Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 93 of Europa Universalis Forest France. I'm going to instantly take the game off pause because we're going to try and get as much done as possible. Um, lose the stability or lose um, 2,500 ducats. Let's lose the 2,500 ducats. We can easily afford it. I still need to build another 40 ships to bolster up my trade fleet. We've got the power to do so. So let's go ahead and grab um, 20 lights over in... Um, Normandy and then we'll queue up another 20 lights in Normandy that's fine and we've pretty much got all of our trade fleets upgraded now we've released Scotland as a nation which is really good I should be able uh, actually to um, incorporate at least one of my uh, vassals at the moment Austria is now the only person in the coalition against me bully for them um, Vassals, Corsica, Naples, and Tuscany. So, Tuscany, you have been my vassal since June 36. So, you're not quite at 10 years. If we go ahead and um, send you a gift... I've got bags of money, so I'm not bothered about doing this. So we can, that puts them up to 200. As soon as we get up to date, we can uh, we can grab them. Uh, Sienna is also a vassal, I believe. Are you not a vassal? Or are you just an ally? Maybe I'm confused. No, we have we have an alliance. Uh, we should definitely be improving relations over there anyway. Um, who else were our vassal then? Forgotten already, you see. Um, oh, we've got a, a self-sustaining colony, which is this one. So let's go and grab Iowa. Uh, back to France. Who who were you people? Um, Corsica. Not too bothered about Corsica, because it's just like two provinces. Uh, Naples. Mind you, Naples doesn't have much either, does it? Um, how long have you been my vassal? Again, June 36. So um, can we improve relations with you? A lot of aggressive expansion there. Improved relations is not going to be enough. So let's go ahead and send you a gift. There we go. So both of them, when June comes around, we should be able to start integrating. And um, this one's going to be a little weird because it's going to be distant. It'll give us an excuse to declare on Siena, I suppose. We could go ahead and try and take some more stuff from Austria, but they're not really my goal at the moment. It's either going to be uh, Milan... Or we could go for... Uh, go Attacking the Shoshone could be very, very interesting if we were to do so. Um, see, this is the good thing. If it, it, When this new expansion comes out, I'll be able to tell like French Louisiana or um, French Canada to attack them. Without me getting involved necessarily. Um, yeah, so let's just have a quick look at this again from the last video. If I were to declare war on you... They're allied with Brandenburg, Munster, Milan, and the Hansa, and they're a subject of Holland, which will protect them. And they're actually part of the uh, the Empire, so Bohemia will protect them. So if I actually go to war with the Shoshone, it will be starting a full-on HRE war. Um, so maybe that's not what I want to do, but what options does that give me for attacking uh, somebody else, for example? What would happen if I wanted to attack... Um, say Holland because we'd be against the same people I'm half tempted to actually just go for Bohemia at this point um, because the HRE is getting quite quite scary we could go for an imperialism CB now a lot of people a lot of people would get involved in this war if I were to do it um, the biggest problem being Brandenburg if Brandenburg didn't come into this war, we'd be okay. Because Brandenburg won't come in on my side. Which is a real, real shame. Unless Brandenburg get busy and caught up in another war with the uh, the Commonwealth. That could happen. So that's not all that useful. Ships arriving. You guys get over there. Question is, do I want to bring some of these guys back over? I guess I probably do. Um, let's go ahead and split another 20 off. 
I guess the one with the leader can stay here. And you guys can sort of come back, or at least get ready to come back. Um, where's that uh, 100 feet? Oh no, it has just left. That's fine. All good stuff. What about if we were to declare war on Milan, for example? Oh, we've gone past the date where I should have started um, trying to annex these guys. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so. What about if I want to declare war on you guys? Don't have any diplomats to send. Typical. Um, you can only improve relations by four more, so you might as well come home. Uh, we can grab a tech. We can grab the admin tech now. Let's go ahead and grab that because that will put us ahead of time and give us the 20% production efficiency bonus. Um, we have the potential for a rebel uprising. English Patriots, where are our main problem areas here? Oh, yeah, Norfolk, Cumbria, Lincoln, Northumberland. I mean, unless I put loads of people over here, it's always going to be difficult to, to stop an uprising, which is why I think I might keep some of these guys on the mainland um, just until that's dealt with. Well, releasing Scotland is really, really good. Um, would Scotland be vassalised? Yes, they would. Um, we are at peace. Are we... We're not sucking up to them either. If we just go and... Give them a gift. We only need, like, 11. So if we do that and go and send them a gift... Then we should be able to offer them vassalization. That is as soon as our, um... Diplomat gets back. I don't know why you can't send a diplomat to do several things at once... While you have this arbitrary mechanic of having to wait for one to come back and wait 30 days or whatever it is so we'll vassalize scotland there we go so scotland's actually our vassal now did we not grab this at all i missed that province completely i suppose it's because it's not technically part of scotland so i didn't actually grab the orkneys oh well it's not not so big a deal i mean you know they've got to cross the strait it's a really bad spot for it for e the great britain are broken i have nothing to worry about from great britain like ever at this point in the game um, oh yeah, colonies. Keep forgetting about these things. Excellent. So, what are we going to do now? I guess you could potentially come over here and we'll grab this one. That'd be nice. Uh, you guys are still working on them. We are really doing well here. Things are, things are looking good. So, um, let's, uh, let's allow things to, to keep running on as they should be over there. Now then, Milan, that's what I was looking at before. If I were to go to war with Milan, we'd still be up against flipping ships. Um, no, not as many people in this one, actually. Brandenburg would come in on my side, which is quite interesting here. And we would be up against Holland, Bohemia, Ferrara, and Wurzburg. Which is not that big a thing, to be honest. Um... We definitely have enough troops around here to handle this, I think. So I'm going to move some guys in. Obviously, we have got a few guys that are kind of around on sort of rebel uh, duties. But let's bring some guys down. Let's go ahead and put you guys on the boat and we'll bring you across as well. Um, what are we like on military leaders? We seem very short of them at the moment. Uh, we can have four. The only reason we can have four is because we've got the power projection. Um, but clearly we're not using some of them, are we? So let's go and assign you. Um, where's my other one? I've got one in Great Britain. You're over here. Where is my other leader? Oh, you're down here. You don't need to be there. So we'll have another one of our leaders over in one of these stacks so leader come on stop auto saving and be oh call to arms brandenburg um brandenburg are going to war with the commonwealth um portugal will come in against them um i'm going to accept this well i don't know actually do i want to go into this war with brandenburg against the commonwealth 
Uh, I'm going to say yes. Um, definitely going to say yes because we'll, I'd like to keep them allied, but I don't think I need to get too involved in this war. But I can't start a war just yet against Milan, but that's fine. So one thing that I wanted to do is I'm still below my force limit. Let's go ahead and build another 20 guys and get them all together over here. And we'll move these guys down. So we've managed to do a religious conversion. We've got one more province to convert, 21 months. That will give us religious unity. Ports are blockaded. Now obviously we're going to have some problems with um, Portugal. Because there's all of this area down here that belongs to Portugal. Portugal are actually quite sort of big overseas. Um, so we've grabbed this province here. Let's go down and uh, grab uh, Missouri. Now obviously Portugal have got some stuff over here. But I think we could probably deal with them. Do I really care about these places? Do I want to get any troops down here and deal with them? Hmm, I guess I could, mind you, how many troops do they have? 30. And how many transports do I have? I'm considering things now that I probably shouldn't be. Um, transports, 32. Do I want to go after Portugal? And take some stuff from them. I think we mm, we might. Let's move you guys up to Co. I am going to grab a leader from one of these groups. In fact, I'm not. I'm going to grab the leader from the stack in Great Britain. Because you don't really need a leader at the moment. Okay, so we're going to group you guys together. We are going to give you a leader. We are going to attach you to the transports. We're going to send some lights with them as well, just so we've got an even stronger fleet. Minus 10% trade efficiency or extra local unrest plus minus 75% trade power. Um... Let's take that one, it'll be fine. So let's group all these guys up. Let us attach. You are already attached, so let us take you down. Is Granada actually against us? I thought we'd. I um, thought Granada was on our side. I thought we'd allied them and stuff. Oh well. Um, let's come down here. We should have more than enough um, fleet power. I could have actually assigned an admiral, but it seemed like a, a possibly a little bit overkill. But we're going to go down there. I was going to declare war on Milan. It's still potentially a plan. Um, Granada can't actually get to us at the moment, and I don't think Portugal can either unless they come by ship. Which they have done down here, unfortunately. Um, gain a load of money and lose 10 legitimacy or lose the prestige we're at war so we'll take the prestige now what have we got here we've got 100 lights versus 54 lights well we should win that this is our one of our trade fleets it's going to take a little bit of a, a mashing here but in fact what we're going to do very very quickly is these guys are going to come in here because they seem to be moving all of their ships in to attack now, I know I've got um, men on board, so I want to be careful here. I don't want to end up losing a load of transports, but at the same time, we'd like to try and win one of these naval battles. My uh, my fleet is actually getting uh, destroyed there. It did manage to get away, which is nice. Now, are we going to catch them in time? Probably not. What we're going to do here is we are going to very quickly dock... Uh, more expensive artillery cost. We're going to grab um, you guys and we are going to get you an admiral. It's not a very good admiral because we don't have a lot of naval tradition, but it's an admiral nonetheless. So we're going to see if we can try and chase these guys down. I don't want to try and ch I don't want to chase too much because I don't want to end up losing. Um, I don't want to end up losing a lot of the men on the ship. 
Just trying to see if I can find somewhere to catch them. What I should probably be doing is doing this on a lower speed and splitting the fleet up. We might just be able to catch them if we are lucky. But I think they're too quick for me. Which is weird, because I have an Admiral and they don't. Truce with Tuscany has ended. Yep, yeah, they've gone and parked all of their ships. So, with that in mind, let us get down here and see if we can um, take some stuff back. Very, very annoying. I wasn't really expecting to be at war with Portugal, but it's one of those things. I suppose at least it's a war. It keeps it all interesting. So we will go and drop those guys off where we can. Now, will you guys get nervous and try and get out of there? It's a shame that we took so much damage to our um, trade fleet. That is a real pain. And of course, Portugal do still have quite a few ships around. But I'm not going to bring them home at war. We can easily rebuild if we need, need to. Um, you've safely arrived here. Let's go and we'll drop you off on the uh, Grain Coast. I very much doubt we're going to catch these guys because they'll probably start to... Yep, they've already made an exit. The AI is such, um, such a chicken when it comes to naval battles. I think it's because the game just knows that... Um, did we actually pick those troops up? Are we not actually carrying men? I'm confused. Can carry 32 regiments. Oh, we accidentally dropped them off when we docked to grab the Admiral. Thanks, game. Um, so you guys go back to Provence. That was a bit of a derpy mistake, wasn't it? Um, oh, well, not a problem. It just means we've got to go back through some more of their fleets now. Uh, so you guys need to come back over here and pick these guys up. In fact, we'll take you down to uh, Girona. Be a little bit quicker. You guys get yourself down to Girona. Let's go... Oh, we've lost two advisors now. Um, let's just grab the uh, most expensive ones we can for the maximum number of points because we're kind of at that stage of the game now, so... We're going to be doing that. Well, that was a little bit disappointing. That would have been a lot easier if I'd have paid attention to what I was doing. We have gone and won a, a, a battle down there. So, obviously, they tr they uh, they had some ships that they didn't get out of the way um, quickly enough. Oh, need to keep this unpaused. I always miss whether I've, whether I've got it paused or not. So we'll come up here. All, all I'm, I'm not. I don't really want to do too much damage to Portugal. It'd be nice if we could grab one or two of their coastal provinces. If we could grab like the Gold Coast or something, might give us just the extra. Oh, there we go. Another naval battle. We're going to win. Um, if we can grab the Gold Coast or something, it might just give us the extra trade power we need to set that up as a proper trade company and have it working. So that could be quite useful. Um, do we have any hostile sieges against us? Just the Cape Coast one, which is fine. We're already aware of that. Um, lost that siege now, but that's fine because we're going uh, going to go over there and stomp them, um, hopefully, uh, once we sort things out. Portuguese fleet over here, which... Um, what are you, actually? Mainly lights. How damaged are you guys? Fairly. Um, Granada fleet is there in the way. What I'm thinking of doing right now... No, you've actually moved out. Can I catch these guys? These guys are going to move quite slow because they do have a heavy there. And all I'm thinking is if I can actually catch them, which I have done... Um, we can go over here and... No, are they going to come back and reinforce with that fleet? No, they're not. But... Can you catch them? And if you go around this way... Just going to try and wipe out... Right, we have caught them. So you go over there. Just try to do as much damage to their navies as possible. Okay, fine. So. Battle of Alicante. Oh, wow. Didn't even realise that there was a the Portuguese stack down there. Okay, then. That is a little harsh. Right. You guys, you're going to go back to the Genoa trade route. And you guys are going to come over here and dock. And you guys are going to go and um, smash some 
uh, Portuguese troops. As obviously they've now got access through... Um, They've obviously now got access through Castile. Never have too much grain. So. You guys are going to go and get on that ship. You guys are going to start working your way over here. Because you're going to go and start sieging out Portugal on this side. Because Portugal are being unusually annoying. So these guys are going to get a little bit of repair. Lost a few ships, but it's not terrible. Actually, I don't think we have. Um, no, we've got the... What was it? 80 and 40. 82 and 40? Yeah. We haven't actually lost any ships from that lot. So, you guys can attach. This time we'll remember to take them. And we're going to go down here and we'll drop you off in uh, Kapoor. What have we got here? 29 heavies, 48 lights. We are still a bigger fleet. So, we may be able to take that fleet if we run into them. Got a little fleet over here that's ran into a Nouvelle Flandre fleet. Now we might... No, I was going to say we might just get there in time to reinforce with that, but that isn't going to happen, unfortunately. But we probably will win a few little um, fleets over there. That's a lot of places cored. You guys are going to go in here and actually start dealing with um, Grenadan troops. You guys are going to come in and start dealing with Portuguese troops. Can't see where they are, so I'm just being careful here. I don't want to end up moving everybody in and um, getting ruffle stomped because I can't see where I'm going. Um, let's go ahead and take our next military idea. Increase our nav navies. Might not be a bad idea to go and increase our navies, but... How did you guys get away? Let's go see if we can catch them. They do have their forced march on, I suppose. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just see if we can force march into them. When will they get away? 24th of Feb. We might catch them. Yep, yeah, we have them. So we'll deal with these guys where we can. Truce with Castile has ended. You watch, this is where Castile declares war on me. Um, you guys chase off. You detach a siege and move to there. I am doing quite a lot of sort of pausing, unpausing, because I'm just I've got so many things going on at the moment with um, obviously different little battles going on uh, in different places. I don't want to end up um, I don't want to end up just running into like a massive Portuguese stack that I hadn't sort of uh, en uh, sort of encountered yet. Now, what's going on over here? You guys have managed to land, so attacking them could be a little bit risky. Apparently I don't... Oh, I was going to say I didn't have my leader there, but I do. So I think we should be able to win this battle. At least I'm hoping we can. Wow, I actually take that back. I'm getting uh, absolutely murdered here. So we did lose that battle, which is really, really weird. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Castile's entered a military coalition against us. Well, that's never good. Let's go ahead and um, get some extra troops over here. Let these guys reinforce a little bit. I'm quite surprised that we lost uh, lost all of those. Didn't think Portugal were quite as strong as they apparently are. Although overall, um, we are winning the war. We've achieved religious unity. Um, claim our rivals province Mercia. We can do that. That's the Castilian province, I believe, which is here. So, diplomacy, uh, covert actions, fabricate a claim on Mercia. So, let's go ahead and do that. Doesn't look like we have too much to worry about with um, Portuguese troops. Looks like most of Portugal's troops are not in Portugal. We can turn your force march off. And um, lose one stability. Isn't that terrible? It's like, hate these events that just randomly give you um, a stability drop. 
Uh, what's Castile doing there? Is Castile sieging? A Castile at war with Portugal. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, well, that's all of their stuff over there being sieged out, isn't it? Let's go ahead and uh, jump on you, because you've got one guy there all on his own. Wow, that's amazing. I have uh, I was going to say I've got Forced March on and he got away, but then I just checked and realised that um, I don't have Forced March on there. Let's just quickly put Forced March on. And it seems a bit of a waste for, like, one guy, but... Wow, and he still got away. Did he get away? No. So, what do I want to do here? Do I want to stay here and... Um... I guess I could come and try and let them attack into me, I suppose. I'm really, really surprised we lost that battle. Absolutely amazed. Let's just go ahead and um, grab some more uh, infantry here as well. I'm just going to throw massive numbers at them. And uh, how are our colonists doing? They're still all in use. We've got none available. So we've still got a few colonies going. But I think that's a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. So until then, goodbye for now.